Here's, you know, a fun one as we really wait to see what the next few updates are gonna bring us. I wanna talk about Fortnite collabs. You know, a common saying around the community is that anything and everything will eventually cross paths in Fortnite. If it exists, I mean, there's a collab. So let's take a moment today to look at some of the craziest collabs we've ever seen. But before we do, if you're regular to the channel, you already know it's about to pop. It's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? Come on, it's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so back before crossovers were a common occurrence in Fortnite, you know, it made its first attempt at bringing in something from the outside. It was chapter one, season four, and it was one of Marvel's biggest years. After so many years of building up their Infinity Saga, the MCU was reaching its first grand finale, Infinity War. Of course, with such a big event, Epic decided to partner up with Marvel to bring the Infinity Gauntlet to Fortnite, something that made the community go wild. All right, so the Infinity Gauntlet would be available in LTM modes and become the first mythical weapon introduced into the game. Each game would only have one, and having it allowed you to transform into Thanos and just take on his abilities. The match would then proceed as normal, with players trying to be the last one standing. Of course, the Infinity Gauntlet added some new gameplay elements as well. For starters, the Gauntlet would be deployed through a meteorite at the start of each game. Once collected, you would be granted abilities which range from ground slams to Thanos punches. Having the Infinity Gauntlet in Fortnite was a big deal, and would eventually become just a small taste of what Epic had planned for Fortnite. Eventually, the Gauntlet would return once more during season eight, but this time with the option to collect infinity stones. Looking back now, it's interesting to see how far we've come in terms of crossovers, but this is where it all began. Wanna snap your opponents out of existence? All right, we got you, man. Click on the link below and visit proguys.com. There, you can learn the secrets towards becoming a better fighter, a better planner, and a better player capable of reaching the big leagues. Check out our pro level coaching and unleash your true power today. All right, so next in our list is a collaboration that changed everything in terms of possible crossovers. We're talking about Naruto. Time and time again, I mean, we've seen movie characters and comic book characters get added to the game. In fact, by the time Naruto showed up, we had long been leaked on his arrival. However, what really made an impact with Naruto was the fact that it was a skin base on an anime character. While Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty was a glimpse that Epic would consider adding in characters from animated series, Naruto's addition made it abundantly clear that Fortnite really didn't have many restrictions at this point. I mean, anything is fair game when it comes to collab expectations. This opens the door for so many potential crossovers with other popular Japanese media. In fact, one of the most hyped collabs is actually already in the works, according to leakers, with none other than Son Goku being the next anime character to step foot on the island. Naruto's arrival on the island also came with just a new limited time weapon for Battle Royale, but also a fully detailed recreation of Naruto's hometown on Creator. There, you can unlock a few cosmetics by completing challenges. Eventually, this season, we got round two of Naruto with the rest of Team 7 becoming available. All right, so adding a character is a neat way for Fortnite to draw in fans and you know of, of different media. But chapter two, season four, went a step above and beyond what we're used to. This season gave us a full story where the Avengers were front and center, from POIs such as Stark Industries added to the map, to the impending climax against Galactus. This season was every Marvel's fan's dream. The battle pass alone was chock full of Marvel icons such as Thor, Groot, she-Hulk and Doctor Doom. At the very end of the battle pass, we got Tony Stark, the key player for this season. Along the way, we brought Stark Industries to the island so that Tony could upgrade the battle buses and come up with a plan to fend off Galactus when he finally arrived. Eventually, with the help of Wolverine and a hacked zero point, we made millions of copies of the battle bus. Armed with bombs, we sent Galactus back to his own reality as the Avengers bid farewell. All right, so now for the question of the day. Bunch of girls, me what's your favorite collab so far? Leave your answers in the comments section below. All right, so we talked a lot about Marvel, but what about DC? Next on our list is a collab that not only extended our understanding of the story of Fortnite, but also branched outside its universe to tell it. The Batman collab was a very big story event where Batman finds himself in a race against time to figure out the mysteries of the island and find a way back home. It came with new skins such as Harley Quinn, Catwoman, and the Bat Who Laughs, which paired well with the comic that came alongside it. Thanks to Batman's detective skills, we get further info on how Fortnite works as a narrative. We get to see more instances of characters slowly forgetting getting why they're here in the first place, as well as losing their ability to speak once transported into the island. We even get to see the dramatic death of fish sticks. Who was expecting that? Most importantly, we also got to watch as Batman and the Joker face off in the comics, leading to Batman becoming the Victor Royale and finding his way back home. Interestingly enough, this was also when we got further reveals such as Dr. Sloan's first appearance and what happened to the foundation after the spire was blown up during the invasion. This would not be the last time Epic would collab with the comic industry with the new comic Zero War, giving us an exclusive 
exclusive Spider-Man skin earlier this year. All right, so let's talk about music. Fortnite has plenty of tracks to keep your lobby vibrant, right? I mean, but what happens when they go all out and the musicians not only arrive on the island, but throw a full concert? That's what happens with these next collabs, and it really makes me think about the future of virtual concerts. From Travis Scott to Ariana Grande, we've gotten some visually pleasing events, which are not just interactive, but pretty cool to look at if you manage to be there. They took you on a wild ride, which had you riding on clouds, running up endlessly changing stairs. The settings would change with the music and sometimes even allow you to fly freely through the air. So next time there's a concert, guys, put on those headphones and get immersed in the sounds and sights. You know, every pro has a favorite Fortnite skin. However, what happens when the pros themselves get sucked into the world of Fortnite? That's right, man. I'm talking about the icon skins and one of Epic's biggest collaboration with the Fortnite community itself. Featuring real-life gamers such as Booga, Ninja, Loser Fruit, and most recently, Ali A, the Icon series is a love letter to the competitors and content creators that help Fortnite grow. So hey, who knows, man? Like, maybe if you train hard enough and go pro, even you, yeah, I'm talking to you, you might even get an Icon skin one day. You gotta believe it, though. Anything is possible. Just another reason to keep grinding every single day. All right, so finally, we reached the biggest collab. You guys ready for this? Because this one was big and honestly became quite chaotic as the season went on. I'm talking about the entirety of chapter two, season five. During the season, we were coming in hot from our fight with Galactus. And while the zero point was no longer under threat of being eaten, it was now exposed above ground for all to see. Agent Jones receives a message from Sloan requesting he try to keep loopers from trying to escape the island. With this, Jonesy goes off on a quest to bring together the greatest bounty hunters in the multiverse to assist him. This is where things got a little out of hand on the island. You know, one of our first collab hunters was the Mandalorian, who came fully packed with his own POI, as well as his own mythic sniper. This was just the beginning, though. This same season had Jonesy bringing characters such as Daryl and Michonne from The Walking Dead, as well as capable fighters such as Ripley and Sarah Connor from the Alien and Terminator franchises. During these teleportations, however, a few unwedded beings hitch a ride and make their way into the island, throwing things into even more chaos. A xenomorph manages to sneak its way into the island, and their predator follows Jonesy during his quest to find more hunters. Not only that, but the Terminator also ends up on the island as well. So during the ending of season five and at the start of season six, we see full chaos of all these collaborations coming together as Jonesy gives gives up on the imagined order and makes contact with the Seven. It's an action-packed sequence, and really one of the few times we see legends such as PlayStation's Kratos and Xbox's Master Chief in the same game. Absolutely insane, right? All right, guys, before we wrap things up today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com and see how you can go pro. But wait, guys, there's more. Just recently, Fortnite revealed a new collaboration with the most unlikely of franchises. All right, we're talking Magic the Gathering. So what? I mean, is Magic coming to Fortnite? Not exactly. This time, Fortnite is coming to Magic with a whole set of collectible cards inspired by the Battle Royale. The collaboration was announced months ago, but now we finally got to see the card designs, and they look pretty dope. At this rate, I mean, we're really going to be seeing Fortnite everywhere, aren't we? Bunch of questions tell me where you watch. Your motivation guy is back. Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. Man, I believe in you. So I hope you keep grinding and don't give up on your dream. But you got to put in that work to really see the fruits of your labor come uh, into fruition, man. You guys can do it. Hey, man, this is going to wrap up today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Who knows what's in store for Fortnite in the future? I mean, we're still only in season three. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.